And welcome back. We're watching Torchlight 2, being played by Pedanta Graver, with my main character George, and our faithful pet Panda. I'm not quite sure who's the owner, who's the master, who's the slave, whatever, pet. We've got a good relationship going, and stop asking about it. Alright, so, whatever. We're gonna go enter the Bone Gallery to bring out our dead. While, uh, you know, off camera, I went and cleaned out the inventory, I went fishing a little bit more, and I actually got a really cool thing out of the local fishing hole in town. It was a goldfish. Uh, the flavor text said, do not feed to your pet, just sell it. And uh, we got about 700 gold out of that thing. It was pretty dank. We also got a couple more fish. We got a big bone fish, uh, which turns a uh, panda into a an armor-shredding half-skeleton. We also got a largemouth base fish, which transforms panda into a mimic, a superior combat companion. So maybe we'll try those out. Well, while we're here and waiting, we'll pull out a skeleton. We'll collect this gold. See if any of these corpses react. Oh! accidentally opened the door. I didn't really mean to do that already. But, while that's going on, let's set Panda to aggressive. We're a little bit higher level than uh, this area requires. There's some kind of... Oh, it's one of those fun challenge, uh, challenge chests that we have to defeat things around it before we can open it. Got some gold, cloth hose, mana potion, mana potion. Great. Let's continue going. We've got our cannon out, and we'll be doing some damage. There's a nice little cannon in the shop in town that I'm kind of interested in. It does about the same amount of damage as our current cannon, but uh, it's got two sockets for ember specs. And I, and I kind of want to get it, because we've got two ember specs just sitting around, not doing much of anything. Oh, new best breastplate. You like plates on our breasts. Might have to try that on after uh, we finish this guy. Oh! I did not know he had a sympathetic explosion waiting to, to take me out when I was done killing him. Check out this breastplate. Uh, physical damage reflected? 31. That's not bad at all. And 5% to Panda's health. We're going to wear that. I, I think it might actually be better than what we're rocking now. Even though it's a lower level item. That 31 physical damage reflected is kind of nice. Then again, we're a bit of a range class. And most of the damage we take are from ranged attacks from casters and whatnot. Eh, we'll hold on to what we got. We're fine. We're good. More of these urns. This guy ran right by. Oh. Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> I think it infected a corpse. I was wondering why he was running right by me, and it turned out it was to spawn more monsters. Oh, I did not know it was going to do that. Ooh, we've got Earth Bow here. Champion on un Champion Undead creates vile... Come here. No! I want to read your text. Creates vile gnashers from corpses. So yeah, this guy spreads his seed and creates more enemies, and we don't like that, so we killed him. It was not a cool thing for him to do. We'll get Panda to pick up these cloth mints for us, destroy this urn, pick up a single stick. How much you want to bet that's some kind of rifle? Where did my single stick go? There it is. Oh. It's one of those maces on a stick. A flail? No, that's not a flail. And, uh, I lost control of my mouse there for a second. I'm not sure why. I hope that doesn't happen again. It happened again. I don't know why that's happening. It's reposition. This bitch is wireless. Sometimes it loses connection, perhaps. Uh, I'm glad that wasn't trapped because I wasn't really paying attention. I had a feeling this guy would reanimate. Ooh, and bleak spirit. Life steals and slows us. Tried to take us unawares. Let's see what we got. Uh, sword we don't care about. That stick. Uh, 1.6 health recovery per second and plus 2 to physical armor. Well, son of a bitch, we're gonna go with that. Because we don't have anything otherwise that regenerates our health. So we're gonna try it. Uh, look at it going up. That's pretty great. So hopefully we can stay out of trouble enough to not have to down too many more... Oh, I have a cannon. What the cannon. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Multi-kill. Spawned a bat. Pin is over there in the back putting in work. 
we gained a level, so as soon as we're done with these maggots that are puking up vile, vile nastiness. Oh, that was, that was gross. Uh, we got a new chet. No, that's the one we just took out. Fine. We'll level. Uh, I want more vitality, that's true. Uh, a little bit more mana. Let's increase our da dodge chance and do a little bit more damage. And our skills... I did the shadow sh Uh, no. Uh, this poison burst, the thing that makes people explode, we like that a lot, so we're gonna dump a point into it. Continue going. Let's see what- I wanna step on this rat. Yes. Good. Good. So how was your guys' day? I just recently got back from work. Didn't have too bad of a day. Relaxing, you know. Talked to my coworkers. Oh, poison. Why do they put poison in urns? See, this goes back to, to the ashes that I was talking about in the last episode. Maybe that is a strategy. Maybe I was just... I, I, was, I was not giving the architects of this place enough credit. I thought that they had just left people around to in urns to, to be shattered and didn't really care about the inhabitants of those urns and it's perhaps filling them with poison is a form of security because if adventurers come down here and they try to find great loot and they bust out one of these urns and it hap- what do you guys think? this looks suspicious to me okay only one out of all these guys woke up? Maybe they'll wake up on my way back and rush me from behind and flank me. Oh, it's one of those gnashers. We don't like them. So, not really giving us too much trouble, but then again, we are... Oh, did we hit level 12? <gasps> we can put on this demon hat. Yes. Oh, guys. So, if... If <laughs> something like that was heading your way with that big-ass cannon, how would you feel? I'd be a little intimidated, you know? I'm, I'm a big guy. I don't think I'd like that much. Trying to healing. I wasted that like a boss. Didn't need to do that at all. These guys spawn near chests. Those challenge chests. Did I miss something? Did I totally walk by or... Oh, one of our bats died. That's okay. So yeah, I totally thought I missed the chest, because those, those little uh, ethereal guys, especially when they come in twos, um, seem to spawn your chest. Sarcophagus is down here. I thought it was here. Is Panda hitting somebody a level above below her? What a good puppy. No, I bet we've got like a skeleton or a bat there. What's this iron ember spark do? Let's find out. Plus six melee weapon damage bonus, or, uh, or if we put on a weapon, minus four to all armor per hit. That's not so bad. Wait a minute. Oh, last. That's not really handy dandy in anything we have. Well, if we find us a, a, a weapon that's got a empty slot, we'll trick it out. I'm not going to go down there right now, since, uh, that... That looks like that's the, the next level down, and we sure did miss uh, quite a bit of stuff in the earlier level. I thought I was being uh, sneaky, and I was exploring. Turns out I wasn't. I was going to just waste time. Yeah, get up. Get up. You know you want to get blasted. How about you? Yep. I'll knock you down a level. No, Panda will just shatter you in a view. That works, too. Hmm. That's a new way of spawning. That's cool. I like that. Well, I'm not going that door yet. There was that other door we opened that we didn't go into. We're nowhere. Right. We reached a terminus. Let's explore it. Open the sarcophagus. Single stick. This one's enchanted. We didn't pick that. Urn. Switch to our ballista. Not a, well. It's about as big as a ballista. It's a crossbow. Sniping those urns. Those urns don't have a chance. And an identify scroll. Good thing I bought us some of those earlier at the shop. Panda, go get it. Good, good bear. Back to the cannon. Check out this wall. There's a lot of stuff to loot here, guys. A witch, uh, witch rod, a musket. After I blow up these urns, I'm gonna take a look to see, uh, yeah, while that poison dissipates. How's this one? 
64 damage, 3 electric damage, 2 attack speed, 2 mana stolen on hit, minus 2 armor. Well, I think we'll hold on to that for a while. Let's compare the range on a wand. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, let's hold on to that, and if we find another one... Actually, I wish I had one of my, uh... My, uh, single-handed guns... ...on me... ...to put into my other, uh, other hand. Yeah, this seems pretty effective. Pretty fast attack speed. And pretty ba balances out my little AoE cannon pretty well. I got a new skull cap. Oh, I ran into these guys for no reason at all. Let's throw some, some of these. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, some skelly. Can we get up there? I think we have to go around. Let's go around. Let's get this gold. Let's get this gold. That gold. Ooh. Some, of these, some of these enemies really are just not appealing at all. Can we reach them with our wand? Yeah, so we're not too far off the, uh, the range we had on our on our crossbow, and I think, oh, you know what, oh, you know what, we're gonna have to push that. We can't use our uh, rapid fire ability with the wand. I'm gonna switch back to the crossbow and take a look at this hat. Nope. I'm gonna open the sarcophagus. This giant club, some of this gold, and I've never seen this. We're gonna push this button. <gasps> We found a secret room, you guys! Look at all this gold! Look at all of it! Not only is there, are there oh, gold, urns to blow up... No, what happened? Where's my cannon? I accidentally unequipped that cannon. Cannon! Yes, that's how we take care of lots of urns. Two chests. How much you guys want to bet? I don't know what was in that, but it died good. One of these is gonna go after us. Is it this one? Yeah. It's got a Riju and an Ice Ring. How about this one? I'll, I'm afraid. I'll, I'll admit it. Some of this stuff makes me awfully nervous to open. Let's get out of that. Panda, get out of that poison. Let's open the sarcophagus. Ooh, a new breastplate. Let's check it out. Five focus, two physical armor, six mana. Hey! Do we want that? Focus is nice, that gets us lots more mana, and it's got plus amp mana. We're gonna lose the health recovery, but as you can see, it's not... I don't know if we're... Well, maybe we are, but I do talk a lot sometimes. But, that's gonna be nice. Uh, let's keep running. Keep dungeon running, yeah! This is a game of blowing up urns, it turns out. Did I just sweep the arc of my weapon by, uh, my moving? Is that what that looked like? Look at it. Can I get even a bigger effect if I dance around with my mouse? We'll have to see. So many urns. I feel, uh, I'm totally gonna get sued by the families of the deceased here. I'm sure they don't appreciate my, uh, the havoc I'm causing. Let's go up here, check this out, blow this guy into a throne. Oh, I wonder if that's the skeleton kick. Hmm. If you played Diablo 3, you know what I'm talking about. Put the crown on him, he reanimates, he does a whirlwind attack like a warrior he is. Oh. Is it gonna bite me? Is it trapped? Oh, it is kind of trapped. Look at the guy. Ah, oh, will take it. Oh, archers. Spiders! <laughs> Such fantastic fun. I love it. Ooh, I wonder if... Can I... Uh, Two-handed. So, can I grab... Can I put a pistol in one hand and a wand in the other? Like that. Can I be kind of cheaty with it? Right? Pull that out. No, no. Let's see. No. You get that. And then... You get that. And I think we can. So we've got gun, wand, gun, wand, rapid fire. Oh! It's like the skies have opened up, the gods have spoken. 
panda's trapped up there. She'll come down. She'll teleport over to us. She'll make it. I've got faith. Come on. Come on, little bear. We got things to kill. There you go. She figured it out. She's a clever little bear. Oh, now we just got rapid fire, murder, ice, bullets, whatever you're weak to. We will find it. And we will destroy you. Panda and I, we make such a fabulous team. Oh yeah, reach out for us. You can't. You're trapped. We got a rapid fire back. Eh, you know, that health. Not, not as bueno as before. But, ooh, we got a tome. Let's figure out what that does. I bet it's a consumable. I bet it's a spell inventory. Training that grants a chance to gain a burst of, of movement and attack speed upon being struck. Oh, fuck it, why not? It's a spell? Do I have to cast it? Always enabled. Fantastic! You can learn the passives from books. Got a tunic? Nope, don't want that. Well, that was worth coming to. I wonder if there are any secret rooms. Let's scan the walls real quick. What did I see here? I saw something light up. What was it? What was it? Right. Whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. About this wall. Any secrets? Gold. Panic. Get it. Oh, nope. Panic. Get it. There you go. That's a good, good, good little bear. Alrighty. Am I missing a door? Let's do that one initial door that we found when we first got here. Unless that was it and I'm just going crazy. Oh, that's cool. How did we miss that before? Okay, so here's the door. We're going to clear out this room. And that's going to be it for this episode. And when we pick up the next one, we will go down to the next level and figure out what is going on in this area. Ah, oh, that room was worthless. I feel like I wasted everybody's time. But that's fine. This is George. That's Panda. I am pedantic. Oh my god, we look so badass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. George, Panda's wandering off. Who knows where. Maybe she's moving ahead of us. And uh, <laughs> we'll all see you next time on Pedantic Graver Plays. Torchlight 2. Doodles!